Looks like you got it. Rattle it? Yep. One foot in at a time. You got this, man. It's all you. It's all you, baby. Let's get you in, Clay. Oh, baby, a cripple. Is there any reason you're not zipped up? Uh, no. Okay. Or at least buckled, bud. Or zip. Whichever one's easier for you. Follow your water flow, bud. Power through it. Don't stop paddling. There you go, Clay. There you go. Well, that little uh, cup holder thing works like perfect for that size. Yeah. If it was like a can of soda, it'd probably be too big. By the way. The Boom. You want help or are you going to do it? I got it. All right. Caleb's stuck, so. Of course he is. <laughs> nice job. Nice work, man. Nice work. All right, bro. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to be coming. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's Clay, baby, going. Clay's I'm not sure how you're doing. I can't see him. Alright. We're in like Flynn, baby. Ah. And here we go. I'm talking about. Good time. Uh -oh. Lean downstream, you're gonna get flipped. Oh, 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 Clay. Look at right now sideways like a boss. Cowboy, cowboy style. Nice job, man. Woo! Ride it backwards, baby, ride it backwards. You're doing good, man. Doing all right, Clay? Yeah. Okay, good job. Your boat's pretty stable. Yeah. Cause you had her lean pretty good back there. I thought for sure you were in danger of getting window shaded, but. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you guys are just chilling out in the car in the air condition, right? Yes, sir, we are. It's hot out there. Yeah, we're kind of feeling a little bit of heat. It's actually not bad. Um, but once we go swimming down there at the island, we'll be okay. And we love you too. I just saw. <laughs> For all the so here we are, just uh, floating down the uh, nice, uh, easy street, we call it. No, there's no rapids right now. It's just kind of uh, backed up water from the dam, and uh, 
it's just time to kind of enjoy some stillness, quietness, and just kind of appreciate the appreciate the river, kind of the surrounding stuff as we paddle our way on out. So, kaboom! Clay Tony, Gabe, all of which have been beasting this stuff out today. Probably, probably even better than myself. But don't tell them that. Oh wait, they're right there. What? Okay. Look how high the water was. Wow. It's kind of cool in here. There you go. Nice. It'll turn you. You're alright. You're alright. Come on. Yep. It almost looks like an animal on that middle rock. Oh, it is. Look, it's a beaver. No, it's like a beaver thing. Yeah, there, there were supposed to be no uh, more um, things for a while, but I guess that was why. It's fine though. Gotta love them. Uh oh! You're supposed to turn there. You're in the pickle, bud. You ain't gonna be able to go forward. I got it. That a boy. Yeah, if you'll notice on that one, the water went this way and then it turned back almost immediately. So when you go this way and you start to turn, put that paddle on the water and back turn it and it'll spin you right into it. And you back paddle it and all of a sudden this side stroke real hard. So you're going this way, you back paddle here so it turns you and then you power stroke on that other side. And that gets you through that. Is that it right there? Nope, it's a ways. You feeling it? You feeling worn out, bro? Yep. Okay. But it'll be worth it when we get there. Huh? It'll be worth it when we get there. Yeah. A lot of times when we go on our trips, we don't know where camp is. We're looking for it. The first night we didn't camp till it was way late because we couldn't find one. It was all kind of like this stuff. Nowhere to climb up in there and camp at. So it's about 420. There's a rock. It's about 420 in the evening. And I think we started out somewhere around maybe noon and uh, been through the section that has a lot of rapids. And then, of course, now we're going through the section that's mostly flat water. And then we've got some rock gardens coming up. But I think the boys are ready for camp. So we are uh, looking forward to uh, seeing the dam coming up. I'm not sure how far it is from here. Uh, but that right before the dam off to the left is where we will take out. We have a portage over it and right over the other side of that dam after that porridge portage is camp so i think the, i think the boys are ready to to get there and uh, set up hammocks and maybe get a bite to eat and then just kind of relax for the evening so that's what we're looking forward to now
Oh, that's a pelican. That's a whole pelican right there. I don't know if we all can see that. Okay, we're going back up. Nope. Crap. Alright, uh, I didn't really cruise very well through the ending of it, but we still made it. I I think we should we should have a little bit of life power through this. Oh crap! I'm gonna come to your right, Caleb. I'm gonna come to your right. Lift your, there we go. Uh -oh. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Are you moving anywhere? Ready, scoot! I think that's a cliff over there, and then we got rapids right there. That's we're gonna go check this out, see if it's a cliff. It's something we can relax on, you know, chill out on. Oh, Dad, it looks like we can get through that. Yeah, and I'm right. I thought it was a cliff from the angle we're at. So, I'll tell you one thing. It, it's nice. We can either go to the left or to the right. I think. I think it's a. Ticket. Oh, crap. I don't, Dad got caught in it, so. What's gonna happen to me? I don't know. So, what's not gonna happen the same thing? Maybe it will. Well, they look like they have fun. Yeah. Oh, Y'all gonna get to see this on camera too. What? I'm warning, Gabe. Oh my. 
my gosh. That doesn't count as swimming, by the way. Nope. My camera never saw it. It didn't happen. So we made it to our dam. Now we're just looking for the cut in over here. Um, that allows us to check out. And I think it's right there. So, looks like there's somewhere there. How's it going, gentlemen? Well, you don't mind if we just kind of sneak up there real quick? Yeah, That'd be all right? Yeah, I'm right. Well, we'll get as far as we can and walk the rest. <laughs> we just need to portage on around it. We'll be out your way. Alright. Y'all getting anything? Did you? I got you. Appreciate it, gentlemen. Very kind of you. We'll be out of here in just a shake. Right. Hey, good luck to you guys. Do you want to bring your boat or? Oh, I thought we were going to use Oh, we'll get all the boats up here at least. I just arrived at the campsite. Not really what I expected, but you know, we'll make it work. And now we're just getting out and putting the stuff in there, and it's really muddy. I don't like it. I can't get out. Anyways, whenever we're done, I'll start again. Much lighter than Gabe's. I don't think you're going to move it, Gabe. It's pretty, it's pretty tight. Yeah, I tried. It's pretty tight. Oops. I'm trying to move it back. Oops. 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 It's dragging. Yeah, Try to pick it up if you could. Just the back end. No, no. The the, the, pick right the back of the boat up. Right here. Use oh. the handle. There you go. There you go. Okay, Okay, Dad, I can get your boat from behind. 
Okay, so we're here and the boys are fixing to wrestle their boats up here on Spirit Island. So I pulled mine up over here. It seemed to be a little difficult. So they opted to walk it around here, which is probably the smarter move. And uh, Gabe's gonna get up there and pull his straight up onto the beach somewhere out of the way. Oopsies. That wasn't on camera at all. I probably should be helping him, but I think he can manage this. Hey guys. We're at our campsite. Not it. Or the fam. Huh? Nope. Oops. Not into that part out. And anyways, we got the kayaks, we got our stuff up, we got a fire, you know, got the more kayaks, and, you know, and there's more stuff up that way. We're getting ready, Clay, how are you feeling? Fine. Gabriel, how are you feeling? Good. Dad, how are you feeling? Fantastic, man. It was a good ride, and we got the hammocks up, so at least we have a place to sleep. Uh, I'm going to grab us some water here in a second, because we need to make some din din. And then it'll be good. It'd be nice if the, uh, once the sun goes down, the temperature drops, because if not, we're going to be sweating in some hammocks tonight. Oh, no, I'm cold. Yeah, for the plan for us right now is. We're going to say something else, Dad. Alright, anyways, guys, the plan for us today. Or what we're gonna do now is we're probably gonna cook some dinner up. Um, we're going to probably eat that, you know. I might have a drink in my YouTube, and we'll probably, we'll probably, we'll probably end up going swimming out in here by a waterfall. I can't really show you because it's blocked. But anyways, yeah, I will start the video back up again if anything interesting happens. And yeah. Okay guys, we're back, and they're going to get some water. They, Dad just told me in a video, so I'm in a video, but look, look at that view, guys. Oh, well, that would just ruin it. Even if I walk this way, it's bad. It's really good, but at least this is flowing, so. Get the flowing, so, okay, Gabe. Okay, Caleb, hold this. Hi. Right here, let me just put the lid on for right now, guys, until I get this thing built. Mm-hmm. Because we can't make food without water. But we can try. Alright, breaking up the boost. Hopefully she works good. Yeah, Dad's got this water purifier thing. It's cool. Survivor Filter Pro, baby. And how much was it, Dad? Uh, I think about 50 bucks. $50. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? My phone's oh. better. I will end it and then I will bring you guys back whenever we are done and you know we get cooking. Right, guys so we have taken a small amount of time to uh, set up camp we kind of got our boats pulled up out the water here I got mine sitting down there we got the dam off in the distance giving us a nice uh, sound for the for the evening uh, we got two of us set up over here one of us using the Hennessy hammock and the other one using uh, Warbond XLC we got a couple of the other guys her way up over there. They're kind of tied. Two of the two of the boys are tied up over there. Sam seems like a pretty good spot. Don't don't burn yourself, bro. Tip it up, tip it up, and let it sit on its bottom. There you go. Good job. Try to make it stable. Watch your fingers, bro. Don't grab at the very tip, top. You did good, man. You did good. Had a guy burn himself. So these guys are cooking up some of these uh, things that my wife got us. It's you can see them steaming out of them called oatmeal they're, they're not bad um, they don't you don't get a lot to eat Caleb dropped a lot of his water out but I think his will still turn out okay so anyways we're making up dinner I'm fixing to make me up some dinner uh, I'm pretty whooped from the day uh, for sure uh, we spent a day of getting stuck and trying to pull people off of being stuck I'm worn out I'm hoping the temperature drops a little bit I think it will and it will be calling it uh, calling it at night so so dinner's done it was pretty good I didn't eat much of it I wasn't feeling very hungry um, now the boys have kind of taken a step out here and they want to, ooh, 
I didn't feel very good. Out there swimming. I don't know if that picks up on GoPro, especially in the sun, but they're actually swim swimming in the bottom part of these rapids. Definitely not anywhere uh, near the dam. So, but they're they're having a good time. I'm pretty beat. I'm a lot of beat. Um, that's what happens when you sit down for eight hours a day and then you try to pump out one of these. And I spent the day pulling people off rock stuff, which was blast. I kind of enjoyed that. I really did. Uh, this part's a little tougher. I'm always having a little bit of struggle with uh, having a yard sale of stuff. So I got stuff all over the place. I did end up having to go to my backup um, water filter. I did have the Survival Pro filter. I just feel like that's junk. I mean, it's good in theory and the water comes out tasting good. But when I barely use that thing. And when you go to draw in water, it just collapses the tubes. Almost like the pre-filter's clogged. But how in the world can that possibly be when I haven't hardly used it? So I uh, went to my Sawyer one because we really don't have any water. Uh, because I had a couple of water filters and um, the hall is not really, not a bad place, but um, I don't have a, like a phenomenal little spring uh, to grab water from. Uh, but I, I did I did get a spot and I did end up getting some water. So uh, at least we have something overnight if somebody needs some water. Tomorrow morning we can go back up and, and uh, you know, whatever we need to do there. So uh, Spirit Island is not bad. It's got this little open spot like this that you can see not too bad but then it's all kind of blown down and just snappy um, back there and uh, uh, but but you know it's it's got a lot of sand so the sands nice um, on one hand uh, but it's not gonna be nice in my hammock um, I end up forgetting my uh, water shoes so I ended up wearing like my regular shoes which were some light lightweight shoes and um, ended up wearing those all day and so my feet were just soaked man so when I got here I had to take them off and dry out so I've been walking around the sand. I'll just have to dust them off real good before I get into the old hammock. And whatever happens, happens there. But uh, it's just a night. So we can take it home and clean it out or whatever. But uh, uh, I'm just about ready to go to bed myself, to be honest. Uh, so hopefully it cools down. I don't feel too bad right now. But hopefully it cools down a little bit. Um, I do have my little fan waiting on me. And for some reason, I can't find my charger for my GoPro battery. So I don't know what I did wrong there. But anyways, uh, I'll show you this. If you can see, um, I do got my fan sitting in here, ready to rock and roll tonight. So battery powered, hanging from the ridge line. I'll point that baby on me, get a little airflow, you know, and uh, and 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 hope, hopefully that'll help. So we'll see how it goes. I need to get all this stuff kind of packed back up, in some boats, and uh, call in tonight. So thanks for coming along, guys. Having a blast. It was a blast. It's a good time with my sons. Uh, you know, it's a good time and they're having fun and that's really kind of what it's about, so. Uh, in the front, bug spray? Well, if you're in your hammock, it shouldn't matter, but if you need some now, it's in the front of Caleb's boat, I believe. All right, so the boys decided they wanted to go ahead and make fire. I wasn't going to, but uh, they wanted one, so <coughs> by golly, we got one, which is always kind of nice. I mean, it's warm. It's starting to cool down just a little bit, isn't it, Caleb? It's starting to cool down a little bit. The boys had a good swim, so they're probably feeling decently cool uh we got some pretty nasty sunburns uh on these guys so uh we did however put uh there show them caleb what you got bud caleb's got a nice little spot on his leg pretty uh roasty toasty on that side as well gabe's got or clayton's got or all the way down his shins man look at that Clayton's boom out. ouch hey, my neck, Dad. huh yeah, no, your neck's good, bro. Your neck yeah. looks real good. Good, 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 good. Yeah. Sorry, y'all got sunburned. I thought we had it. And I thought we had it covered. So. Good. Well, good job getting sticks, guys. Because you're gonna need some more if you want to keep it going. You're gonna need some more. Okay, so I know the light's going down here, but uh, my man uh, Clayton here, other than choking on the uh, smoke is uh setting himself a marshmallow ablaze uh jesse my wife had sent us with some uh some uh, what we got some uh graham crackers and chocolate filled marshmallows and some chocolate filled marshmallows man look at that stuff graham crackers chocolate filled marshmallows the boys kind of cut themselves a stick and uh kind of put a little point on it and what they'll do is they'll just cook it mm. of course and then smear it off that stick like real men, Not like real men do. So and we got Gabe over here. 
so light is pretty much faded quick quick on us but um i'm going to take you around a little bit so right over here with me we got caleb and uh he's kind of in his hennessy hammock you probably can't see yeah they can't see you tall in there bud but anyways he's in this hammock how you feeling caleb great feeling good mm -hmm. all right brother all right so we're now we're over here, right? here right here turn it on for us um we're gonna go find out these guys spot make sure they're good all right take me to your take me to your camp Oops, i'm gonna go through here if i can nope. barefoot walking on the sand but it feels good but i'm not looking forward to it getting up into my i was right the first time oh we need to get that covered up why is that so much stuff over that wow all right okay here we go they got their headlamps on. I did not grab mine, but I think I'll be okay. Walking over some logs. That's all kinds of smart. <laughs> yeah, they can't see nothing on this. All right, so we got some men tucked back here. Get in, man. I just leave that kind of on the ground. Ain't much you can do with it right now. And you remember how to get in? I'm looking for the. Should be right in the middle. We'll get on this side because we might get some of his light. All right. Wait. Oh, okay. I thought you were trying to unzip yours. Yeah. Get up in there. Work. Push your push your blanket behind you. Now both hands and sit as far back into it as you can. Good. Dust and feet off. Good. You can pull them up, pull a knee in, and then reach down there. There you go. Wipe the poo out of it. Clayton, unfortunately, he's in he's in him in an Amazon hammock, which is fine. Oh, Amazon, like you bought it off Amazon? Yep. I thought you were talking about Amazon like the river. So I'm going to make sure that these guys are set before I head back to mine. Make sure you're comfortable. As soon as you get your foot out of there, this thing should close right up on you. Gabe, your feet go right here on this side of this hammock. And your head goes on the other side. Oh, okay, now listen. Hammocks. Listen, yeah, listen. When, when you start getting cold... That's because it's taking the air off the bottom of you. You'll need to work your... Are you, do you got a sleeping blanket? This is my... Uh, sleeping bag. Yeah, you got a sleeping bag? Mm -hmm. So you'll crawl in your sleeping bag. What do you have, Clay? Sleeping bag. You got a sleeping bag. Okay, so when you start getting cold, get in that sleeping bag, okay? Okay. You good, Clay? Yep. All right, Clay's good. Gabe, you good? Yep, I'm good. All right, man, I'm out of here. Just step... When you got to pee, just step out, whiz, and do your thing. Clayton, if it was, or Gabe, if it was me, I'd just open this thing up. Stand up, whiz right out the back side of it, and call it good. So it comes down to this. The boys are in bed. There's just a little bit of daylight left, and uh, I'm going to go call in mine. Um, what a fantastic day. Some struggles, lots of wins, lots of victories. We got here, we had some good food. I was able to lead them down this river. I got them down this river. I got them here. So we'll get us some good night's sleep. And uh, hopefully it doesn't rain because we have no tarps because there's not supposed to be a drop of rain in the forecast. So if it does rain, we're all in all synthetics. We'll be all right. There'll just be something more for us to laugh about. So I'm gonna count this trip as a success. Count this day, count this night as a success. And I'm gonna hit the bed. And this is what it's all about. This is what I was aiming for about to check it off the list.